Hi, my name is Taylor, and in this video I'm going to show you how to move in tenants on Tenant Cloud. To begin the process of moving in your tenant, first locate the approved applicant that you wish to move in by clicking on the Contacts tab from the far left side pop-out menu. Next, click on the Display drop-down in the upper middle section of the page and select No Lease. Find the applicant you wish to move in and click Move In on the contact card. First, select if you are sending a new agreement for signature or if you are sending an attached agreement that has already been signed outside of the system. This is most common for users who have pre-existing agreements when entering in their information. For this example, we will send an agreement for signature. Select your property and fill out the necessary information. If you have a roommate situation, click the Add Co-Tenant button then select the roommate from the drop-down menu. Next, you can select if the tenants pay individually or if the tenants pay jointly. If the tenants pay jointly, they will be paying towards one total balance where each tenant can pay however much they agree to on their own. If you select tenants pay individually, the system will create two specific invoices that will be billed to each tenant separately for their specific amount. For this example, we will only have one tenant on the lease. Add any dependents using the Add Dependent button just below the primary tenant. Make sure you have the correct resident entered. As long as your tenants have given you their email address and are connected with you, you will be able to share the lease and transactions with them. If they are not connected, you will want to view our video titled How to Connect with My Tenants to learn how to connect with your tenants to share leases, invoices, and other important information. Click Next Step. Next, you will create recurring rent charges. Here, you will enter the invoice schedule, the first invoice date, and the amount. Please note that the first invoice date will automatically be set to the lease start date. If you have a new lease where the lease start date is in the middle of the month, you will want to set the first invoice date to the first full month's rent, then create a one-time prorated rent invoice down below. Add any deposits with the matching category and invoice date. Click Add Transactions to add any other one-time or recurring invoices that will be added to the lease. We will add Pet Rent as an example. Once you have double-checked everything, click Next Step. Set your late fee settings here. You can set the fee as a fixed amount, a percentage of charges, or percentage of outstanding charges. Here, you will also be able to select the grace period for your lease-by-lease -lease situations. Next, enter all the information needed to set up management fees that you will be charging. Please know that the tenant will not see this information. By setting the management fees on the lease level, you are telling the system when to post the invoices and how much the fixed amount is or the percentage of the rent that you will be collecting on your management fees. Next, you'll set up the utility responsibility that you will assign to your tenants. The last step on this page is to set up email notifications to be sent to you and your tenants. This is a great way for you and your tenants to keep track of any invoices that are due or past due and when the tenant's lease is about to expire. Once you have completed this page, click Next Step. On this step, you will choose if you require renter's insurance or not. If you do require renter's insurance, Tenant Cloud is partnered with Assurant to provide your residents with an easy and affordable way to set up renter's insurance. Please note that if you do require renter's insurance, your tenants do not have to use Assurant, but they will need to provide you with a copy of their proof of renter's insurance by uploading it into Tenant Cloud on their end. If you require renter's insurance, the lease will not become active until the tenants have provided their proof of insurance. If there are roommates, you will have the option to select who is responsible for insurance. As an example, if a husband and wife has one policy, but both are listed, you will only select one of the tenants to provide the proof of insurance. Now, click Next Step. Here, you will be able to add any lease agreements that you have created from the Document Template Creator in your settings. If you have not created your own custom agreement, you can click the Free Basic Residential Lease Agreement. For this example, we will select a document that we have already created. Here, you can see the system will fill in all of the autofill elements that we set when we created the agreement. 
If you need to add any other autofill elements, you can do so here. To add an autofill element, drag and drop the elements into the text where you see the information. You can also add any additional wording by typing in the box. We have also added the ability for you to add fields to your document. With the fields, you are able to assign signature lines, initial requirements, date sign fields, and text box for your tenants to fill out. Simply place the cursor where you wish the field to populate, then drag and drop from the right side. Once you have the field in place, you will be able to assign who is responsible for filling in the signatures, initials, date, and text box. Please note that if you require a signature from yourself and your tenants, you will want to make sure you have a signature line for yourself and all tenants who will be on the lease. Once the signature or initial fields are assigned, the Send to Sign button will be shown. If none of the signatures or initials are assigned, then the agreement will be sent without a signature and the lease will become active. If you have more than one template that you wish to send, click the Add button and select the second template. You can add up to 10 templates. Once you've completed adding your templates, you can add any shared attachments that you wish to send to the tenants. You can also add private attachments that will only be visible to you. Click Send to Sign to complete the move-in process. And that's how you move in a tenant within Tenant Cloud. To start managing your rental properties for free, just go to www.tenantcloud.com or click the link below in the description and sign up today.